Hi, I'm John Storms, and this is the EF Lake 24. EF Lake 24, that's hard to say. Um, but what this is, this is a 24 inch wide um, Coro snowflake. And I have a lot of Coro snowflakes, right? This is just a sampling that I keep up here. And these are also 24 inches, but they only have 48 to 50 nodes. This one has 150 nodes. So I am trying to achieve a higher density in my display, but I already have good coverage. So I'm swapping out the low density for the higher density over time. So this is 150. Um, the, it's, a, it's a nice even number. That means it's, a, it's three even strings of light. So there's no cutting, no blacking out, no, no nothing like that. Very straightforward. So when I start off, I will go to the EF Designs website, download their model, which is right here. See, I got it all downloaded. And it comes with all of the sub-models pre-built in. And it comes with a nice wiring guide. See, there is the wiring view. Make it nice and big. And what I do is I take these numbers and I actually transfer them onto the snowflake. Right. So here's pixel one. And where the strings end, or where they start rather, I circle it, right? So I can spot it out easy. And then what I do is just with a Sharpie on the back, I trace the route around the snowflake. And it's just like literally connecting the dots. Um, and this is, a, I, I, I like to do this. Uh, I take my time with it because, you know, you don't want to screw up. Screwing up is costly. It is, it is some work pushing these in. So you push it in with a tool like this. This is a pixel pusher. So you grab the pixel, push it in, but it does take quite a bit of pressure. And if you see this, Jackie has high quality Coro coming out of EFL designs. You can see those, that cross ribbing in there. And it takes some effort to push it through with those pliers. So you can see, look at that. Let me get the hand right. Look at that, my pinky there. Got a nice blister to show for the 150 pixels I pushed in there today. So anyway, um, get it all mapped out, and then it's just a matter of pushing. And usually I do the pushing in two steps. The first step is I'll get all of the pixels inserted. So it's, you know, it's just the tip of the head of the, the, pixel, the pixel bullet. Um, that way, first of all, I make sure that I, got, I hit all the holes right, because if I get to the end of the string, I'll be right at one of these, these marks, right? Like there is 50. <coughs> Um, if you push them in all the way and then you find out you got to get them wrong, then you got to pull them all out. And that's, that's a ton of work. So I get them all placed right, kind of a dry fit. Then I go back with the pixel pushers and push them all in. And then I get this. So now this is an example of the snowflake with all the pixels pushed in. All right. So let me flip it over. This is most more interesting sign. And let's see. So this is pixel one. I uh, use X connect connector. So this is the male connector that will then go to the controller and it just wraps around. And then every place where I have the strings come together, I use a little bit of dielectric grease like we did with the other snowflake that uh, we did the video on the backlit snowflake. And that provides a nice uh, waterproof connection or near waterproof. And of course, it's all annotated. So this one, 150 snowflake, 150 pixels, and it weighs a little bit, but not too much. Um, so let's uh, let's hook it up and run it through a test sequence. Sorry for just pointing this at the screen. I could use a capture program, but that would be, you know, that would smack of effort. So here's a very typical sequence test program I use for um, and I would usually test every port this way. And I, at this point in time, I use the test element. So I do bars up and down and then left and right. Um, and what that's good for is that it will show me if my model's correct, because it will ease, you could easily spot it with your eye. Then I do a fire effect just to make sure that that renders properly and the fire should be up and down. And then I do spinner one direction, spinner the other direction, 
butterfly because I like butterfly. And then here we're going to walk the bar effect through the various submodels. So for the submodels, we've got little spoke, spinner, big spoke, and burst. And then at the end, uh, I do a picture of an American flag just so I can see what kind of, you know, now that this is higher density, of course, I want to see what kind of resolution I get out of it. So putting an American flag on there, I can kind of see uh, what kind of effects I can expect to do. Okay, here we go. So I got the lights off so we can see this a little bit better. But this is the, uh, again, the EF Flake 24, 24 for 24 inches. And it is running through my test program. So this is the American flag. And then next, see, it's bars up, bars to the side, fire, pinwheel one direction, now the other direction. Got a butterfly effect. Now we walk through the submodels that came with the, uh, the model that were made just for this snowflake. And of course, at the end, I got the, uh, the American flag. So anyway, this gives you a pretty good idea of what it looks like. Um, looks like a great flake. So this one is 150. The, e, the e, uh, EFL baby backlit one had 200, uh, but there was a number on the back. So these are pretty equivalent in terms of density. Uh, I like to mix up the, the different types. I like having a lot of different kinds of snowflakes because, you know, no snowflake is exactly the same. On my display, there are a lot of the same, but I like to mix it up because it's good variety. And uh, now, with uh, all these high density props, I'll get higher density out of my 24 inch snowflakes. Now, I could do bigger snowflakes that I've seen snowflakes as big as. But uh, I like having a variety of sizes too. And the smaller, to my opinion, the smaller snowflakes and lots of them kind of has a, a nice effect. People, people seem to react to that. But anyway, uh, this is a gorgeous snowflake. Uh, really like it. And I got four of these to push. I got them all labeled, but I still got to push three more of them. But yeah, looks fantastic.